Hello, 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 Kevin Epps here, Digital Brilliance Hour with another tutorial. All right, so we've seen this tool in our main tools folder, and we've even briefly went over it in the beginners course. Now's the time to get into this application though, because you want to put your own music and sound effects in your game, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go to our main tools folder and finally open up audacity now that it's open let's look at the interface and we're not going to go into every detail of this tool as understanding music production is discussed in our music class we'll only focus on what's necessary to create music and sound effects for open bor you have the following menus you have file edit select view transport Tracks, Generate, Effect, Analyze, Tools, and Help. The File menu operates like any other file menu in an app, and the Edit menu also operates like any other Edit menu in an app. The next menu that's relevant to us is the Effect menu. This menu has access to many plugins and effects that affect the audio signal. For example, you have effects like Amplify, which increases or decreases the volume level of the audio. Loudness Normalization, which normalizes the volume level of the audio and many other effects. You can even install external plugins in Audacity as well. We can use the Tools menu to add new plugins and Help menu to understand the tool even more. I've also included a link to the manual in the lesson as well for further questions. You now see the traditional pause, play, stop, seek buttons, and record buttons. The tools to edit the audio, the monitoring area, the playback speed area, and edit area for an audio project. In this area, you can copy, cut, and paste your audio. This is the audio timeline to make clips and such from different songs. Again, we're not gonna go into depth here, just wanted you to see it. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's go ahead and open a song. In our case, we're gonna open up an MP3 from one of our songs produced in the music program. You can open up MP3, Waves, Flax in this program, basically most audio files that are typically supported by audio players. Just a quick note though, if you wanna take a song that you've heard on places like YouTube, there are many tools that will extract the audio from places like that. Either way, I also included a link to the MP3 in the lesson as well. Now let's open it up in Audacity. And as you can see, you can play it in this app and many other things. The one thing I'm going to do is make sure it's normalized so it's at a good level to hear in the game. So let's hit Control A to select the whole audio signal. The background of the blue audio will turn white from the gray it was before. Now we can go to the effect menu and choose loudness normalization from the dropdown. What you want to affect is the perceived loudness. This is determined by the song and instruments itself and ensuring that they're all heard properly. So it's less about decibels, which is the value for the audio volume and more about what is heard by the ear. And we'll set the LUFS or the LUFS to negative 10. This is the perceived volume value. Make sure treat mono as dual mono is checked. You can preview to hear the difference in loudness if you want, then click OK.
And if you're wondering, Manage just allows you to set, save, import, and export presets for these values. Now that it's done, we need to export our changes to an audio file supported by OpenBOR. The best bet would be an OGG file. So let's go to the file menu, export, then choose export as OGG. Then we need to make sure to save it in your music folder in your project. In our case, we want to change the title music to the demo, so we're saving it to our demo's music folder. Let's save it as remix.ogg. You can set the quality as high as 10. I usually set it to eight for size purposes, but no reason why you can't use 10 though. Okay, once done, you've created your music file and we need to go to the music folder and rename the old remix.bor file to remix-old.bor. This will make sure that the new OGG file gets played when you open the game. This will play during the intro and will pause when it gets to the title screen. We'll fix that later, hint hint. That's one way to add newly created music to your game. Just think about the possibilities now. You can create music for your stages and other screens. So yeah, man, this wraps up this lesson. Make sure to pay attention. You're gonna have an exercise coming up soon, so this will be handy. As always, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Once again, I'm Kevin. Stay blessed and stay brilliant. Peace. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin. Appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.